and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Chronicler Barkeep. This is going to be our, our next deck. We're playing the combo of Back Alley Barkeep with Chronicler of Ruin and trying to just get a whole lot of value. We're trying to summon as many Back Alley Barkeeps as we can. Uh, the first Back Alley Barkeep makes one random card and then the next one makes two random cards and the next one three and so on. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. We're going to try to outgrind the opponent with that. Um, I've always liked Back Alley Barkeep. This is a card that I love uh, drafting in Expedition Mode. And um, I know whenever I first started playing Legends of Runeterra, I tried playing some more Back Alley Barkeep. Um, but uh, we'd get run over by aggressive decks quite a bit. But right now, this is a very control-heavy metagame. And so with, with it being a, a slower control-heavy metagame, maybe we can outgrind some people with some Back Alley Barkeeps. So that's what we got. We also have um, Splinter Soul. They can summon a copy of the the Back Alley Barkeep. We have Fading Memories uh, that we can get another copy there. And we also got Miss Call that if we can have our Back Alley Barkeep die, whether it's from Chronicler of Ruin or something else, um, then we can use the Miss Call and revive it. Um, just have three Thresh for, for our only champions, um, which is, which is kind of awkward how we don't have any like any other champion to really grab with thresh's uh, leveled up ability but basically thresh is just going to be a good like anti-aggro card that helps control the the battlefield that's really what thresh does um and so that that's why thresh is so good withering whales of course at, against aggro also and then our top end we got one rekindler to go along with the thresh and then a rasa and a ledros help close some games out um and then you know even rasa with some of this other stuff can be pretty powerful too a lot of early removal, uh, rummage, get rid of extra cards, um, and uh, filter through the deck, and then some pickpockets, get some free cards as well. All right, uh, but anyway, there we go. Uh, here's Chronicler Barkeep. Let's see how this goes. Um, this could be could be good. Could not be good. We're gonna see. Always like trying out new new stuff. All right, so we're going to um, change our board up. Let's go to the let's go to the lab for the barkeep, and then we'll have level we'll Grom with us. All right, welcome back, Storm. Welcome back. All right, took a little. A little break there, we're gonna be playing some games again. All right, what do we got? So we're playing against um, a go wide deck. The Get Excited is just really good against Elise, so maybe we should keep it. We'll get rid of these two. I'll keep the Chump Wump to... Oh, got another Thrash. Keep, keep the Chump Wump to make the Mushroom Cloud to give us something to discard to Get Excited. We'll probably be banking the spell mana anyway. They do have. Uh, do you have a lease? Which one am I? What am I discarding? We have the two for one ourselves. It's not a great feeling. I think I just get rid of the Mystic Shot. Alright, so we're down a card for now. But we can catch up. It's okay to be down a card with the back alley barkeep deck. I'll just pass. I don't really need Skitterer in play, uh, but we'll see what they do. Maybe I play Skitterer still. If they don't play anything, then we'll have three extra mana uh, so I can play Chump Womp, make the Mushroom Cloud, and still have get excited. Hmm. Alright, never mind. They're going Cursed Keeper. Dang. Let's 
Just thinking that we may need to race a little bit. And so that's why I was going to get the, the three damage in, but not anymore with the boar four. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. All right, I'll make the obvious blocks. That's really good. Barkeep. Yeah. So Thresh Challenger or play Barkeep. Okay, okay, that's a good card. So I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking of playing the barkeep here so that we can, um... Dang, their hand was nice. So we have the barkeep die and then miss call it back. Oh my gosh, their hand was really nice. All right, we'll play in the slow, grind him, grind him out, and uh, get a whole lot of card advantage and, and grind them out with that deck against. Uh, that can be tough to work against against the Undying. Not gonna lie, that can be tough to work. Um. I got ways to find in mushrooms. All right, so this gives me the opportunity to play Miscall still. Down to eight. Their hand has been awesome. I don't get to draw this card, do I? Nope. Alright, so these three things can block. Well, we have a lot of cards. We're not going to win, but we have a lot of cards. Yeah, it's just a... I don't know, it's something fun. I think Barkeep's a pretty fun card. But yeah, there's there's a lot of good card of Anjin, uh in this game already. That is true. All right. Well, that was rough. Rough first game. Okay, let's not face undying decks, especially undying decks that <clears throat> you know draw multiple undyings, but then also have you know Elise, uh, and then the uh, multiple ravenous butchers with that combo and everything. They just that was rough. All right, Draven Ezreal. So we want to get rid of Skitter. I think we want to keep these cards. I mean, obviously I could get rid of Ledros. We're basically not going to do anything for a little while, which is actually probably a good strategy against them to not do anything, to not give them targets for leveling up Ezreal. I could see that working out. 
Um, I guess I'll just play this thing. Right from the rich, give to me. Yeah, that's why I was thinking that Ledros would be good here. Even even though it's in our opening, you know, it's not something we want in our opening hands, but I still feel like it's just going to be good in this matchup of helping us finish the game. I do want to just give them a whole lot of mushroom clouds. That sounds like a good thing to do. Or give them a lot of puff caps. They draw a lot of cards. Thresh is pretty big. Six toughness. Difficult to kill. We'll play that. The party has arrived. I got the kids. All right, so I'm probably going to play the box. Definitely playing the box. Probably gonna play play the box anyway, but now we'll just play that. What's that you got there? If I don't make the block, then I attack, and they still kill the pickpocket with with a one damage thing. Just we might as well make that block. I could chronicler of ruin it. Don't want to do that though. I think it's likely they have, uh, you know, Static Shock. Could have Blade's Edge. Okay, Guillotine. All right, so they're gonna Guillotine that. So we're gonna. Mystic shot our own thing so they don't get like the free, you know, free guillotine. Man. Thresh is so close to leveling up, but I guess. Leveling up Thresh really isn't that important for us. So I might as well reset it, right? It's either reset it or play Chump Wump and then try next turn to kill the Chump Wump um, and level up Thresh. I guess we don't really need... We don't really need leveled up thrash so we'll play the chump lump i want i want more mu i want more mushroom clouds and give them more puff caps that's what i want why not mystic shot their three two because they're gonna have another spell like as we saw with like static shock or they're gonna i was figured they'd have something else to be able to do a little bit of damage to the thrash and then kill the thrash So Rekindler back Thresh or Yeah, basically with with my deck I just didn't need to don't didn't really need I don't need to focus on leveling up Thresh. Thresh is just a, a good card, but I don't need to keep it alive. Give them 20 puff caps or bring back Thresh. I think we give them 20 puff caps.
I should have gave them I should have gave them these 10 first before playing this in case they just cast progress day I'm glad they didn't just cast progress day you think I sh uh, should have rekindled and then chronicler rekindle her I guess that was an option too Too focused on giving them all these puff caps. Level up Ezreal. Draw more puff caps. Oh, no. Alright, GG's. Ledros just finishes, you know, just does the, does the 20. And that's what giving them all the puff caps did. Rekindler Thresh. And then. Try to chronicler the next turn. May have been better. I may have been better. But uh, we got to give him, you know, that was turn eight, got to give him all those puff caps, and then Ledros turn nine. I definitely wanted to Ledros turn nine, so like we would have been chronicling Rekindler like turn ten. Alright, Draven Darius, aggro. Don't love my chances against aggro, but, you know, we're going to keep Mystic Shot. Oh, sorry, and uh, just kind of see what happens. I got the kids. Wow, they just didn't attack? Well, that's pretty great. Trade a Mystic Shot and one toughness of the pickpocket for that House Spider. It's a pretty good trade. Oh, I should have done the Fading Memories and then and then cast it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Because I think I'm probably going to just discard the Fading Memories and the Rasa. Oh gosh, or maybe the Ledros and draw two. Nope, I'm get excited. Such a good card. That's such a good card. What do we have here? 
Want to trade with Draven? What do you think? Nope. Okay. What do we get? Decisive maneuver. We ride for Noxus. They're playing decisive maneuver. Refreshment from a cross rune terror. I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll have ten if I chronicler. And we still have four mana. Cool. A mystic shot. So we can double mystic shot. This is a good turn to double mystic shot. Gross. I think that's overwhelm. All right, do some blocking. We'll take three. They're down to just three cards in hand besides these two spinning axes. So we've done a great job of, uh, you know, fighting through everything. And we're at seven mana. Let's rummage away this decisive, well, maybe the, maybe the mushroom cloud. Definitely the shark chariot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I play Barkeep, we draw three cards. So we'll go to ten. So if we can't play any of the cards, then that'll be a bummer. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Pursuit of Perfection. Forget about that card. Get so many cards at back alley barkeep. It's just pretty sweet. Strength above all. All right, so we'll we'll get excited that the Darius. Oh, if they would just go straight to attacks, so we'd get excited and then. Can stop me. Um. I was gonna say we would have de decisive maneuver as well. Just play Thresh. Cut him down. Reckoning? Dang. I did not play around Reckoning. Um. Well. So, we're going to take five, go down to nine. Could be six. I'm going to discard. I'm playing Get Excited to kill the Darius. Uh, it's just kind of debating on what to discard. I guess it's the Pursuit of Perfection, even though that card's really cool. I guess I just need to discard it, though. That is a pretty sweet animation for Reckoning. As a free speed animation. <clears throat> Alright, taking six. So I think I scourge this turn. Or I just Ledros. It's either Ledros or Scourge Chumplump. What are we thinking? What are we feeling like? Scourge Jump Lump's not bad. Yeah, Scourge Jump Lump's not bad. It's probably safer the gain five right then.
Mm. Alright, so that gives me 11 mana next turn, so I can have Rasa plus get excited. We also get one of those things out of our hand. If we want to harrowing, we'll see what we get, but I assume we're going to get more. Okay, so we're going to get excited. Excuse you. We can do a post combat Rasa. Their own decisive maneuver that Kempunk Pickpocket created was their downfall. Their own decisive maneuver. So it looked like the Ionia card, because we knew they had one Ionia card because of how their Allegiance card whiffed from earlier. It looked like their one Ionia card was that Barrier Lifesteal. Uh, it's really not that difficult, best player. Um, it's much easier if you're used to either Magic or Hearthstone. It's much easier than either of those two games. Uh, the rewards in this game are, are really good. This is a, it's really good. Like, I definitely recommend just, just jumping in and playing. You get, uh, every week, um, on Tuesdays, uh, depending on how much, uh, experience you earn, you get, um, you know, you get chests every Tuesday and you get a lot of stuff and it's unlimited the more you play the more you get <clears throat> each region and that was my very last region reward and also each region besides that besides that every Tuesday getting uh, weekly rewards you also get you also level up um, and earn earn free rewards for each each region which is basically each color that was my last one I just finished up so Looks like those are, they're all finished for me. Um, but so you, so you get other rewards too. Hey, I am. Yeah, this, this game is awesome. I agree. So no, yeah, if you just start start grinding. Yep, yeah, Riot's making money selling boards and mascots, and they just they want it to be accessible that everybody can play. But you know, still give you incentive. You know, you need to grind out like your collection and everything. Brom. But like the rewards are so good that we're. Later on this month, whenever the set, whenever it fully releases, and we have, um, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Let me just keep this hand. Um, oh, the draft format's incredible. Yeah, the draft format, the expedition mode, so much fun. Uh, <clears throat> like whenever, so later on this month, it's going to be on mobile too. So that's that's great. On the 30th, it will be available on mobile. Like it'll start on the 28th, and it'll you know between the 28th and the 30th, they're saying guaranteed it'll be ready the 30th. Um, they'll have an, a new set. They're just calling LOR Set One right now. They could that could use a better name, but it's going to have 120 new cards, and just from like the the rewards that I've been racking up. From playing, I'm gonna have the ability to just get all of the new cards right away without spending any money. I'll have the ability just to get them all, basically enough like wild cards and shards and stuff like that. Um, let's see, or you know, close to it.
Basically, my debate was whether or not to Mystic Shot that Avarosan Sentry. Poros. This isn't a very good trade. I can play the skitter and make it so they just trade with one and not the other, but I, I feel like if I play the skitter, they're you know then they'll just play something else. Definitely see them playing like Braum. Um if I play like the chump wump. But I think so. Basically, instead of okay, they they would have done that. So they're going frail your allegiance. They're gonna have one really huge creature. Basically, instead of doing the skitter, so I want to I want to try to get chump wump value. I'm gonna chump wump. Try to keep killing my chump wump with re, with chronicler and just give them a whole bunch of puff caps. I don't even know if that's a great plan, but that's kind of my plan right now. Possible that plan's not good enough, but that's my plan. Yeah, it looks like they're playing Heart of the Fluffed. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Dang. Dude, Avaros and Outriders is pretty sweet. That's a card I need to play more of. Gives this thing overwhelmed too. Card's pretty sweet. Yeah, even if it was just didn't have the Omen Hawk, you know, and it was only seven toughness, then we could block and have get excited. Oh my gosh, why was I thinking... I was thinking I was going to be able to do that and I would have four mana left. Because I was thinking I just had like the eight in mind. I don't have four mana left. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to have four mana left. That was... That was not correct. I don't think we're winning this. Actually, after I did that. Okay, now we're not winning this. Attacked right away. I can barely keep up. Very risky indeed. Don't be calling no enforcers.
Well, hopefully we just go down to three. And then I get to Thermogenic Beam, the 7-4. Good games, opponent. GG's. Play better than me. Okay, two and two again. And now we're gonna win and get it back to three two. Let's get our winning record. Let's get our sixty percent. Oh. This was a loss earlier, right? No, we we won. We 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 won this matchup earlier on the back of Rasa, actually. Oh no, not on the back of Rasa on Ledros. No, I should have got rid of Rasa. I was thinking Rasa was Ledros. No, wrong card. Ugh. Why are those two cards so similar? <laughs> See, I thought I thought that this in in hand I was thinking this was like what what Ledros is. That's why I kept it. It's not what Ledros is. <sighs> That's what I had in mind though. What you looking for? There just wasn't really another champion that I wanted to really uh, play, that I wanted to really fit in here. Like, I didn't really want... Yeah, like, that. basically, like, just, like, looking at, like, all the other champions. There wasn't another one that Check out the goods on this one. I really wanted. If I would have played the spider first, they would have had a damage on the spider, which meant that then our, our spider would only trade with our 2 2. trade back and forth, that's the less things that they kill with Ezreal targets. Um, and of course, valuing this, valuing this far keep pretty highly, because I wanted to be able to chronicler it. And with after drawing the miss call, this is like the perfect turn to chronicler it, because now we have miss call to, to bring it back and make uh, three new cards. What is this thing? That card's good. Does mean that my next draw I'm not gonna be able to get anything, but oh well. We got a lot of we got a lot of cards. seven mana next turn so our next our next draw step just gets burned 
That's the price of drawing five cards this past turn. Yeah, I could use Thermo. But Thermo is like one of my only ways to kill an Ezreal. Like, so basically using Thermo means that I would rather have a random card in my deck than Thermogenic Beam. And I think I'd rather have Thermogenic Beam than the random card in my deck. It makes sense if we have like an Ezreal to use the Thermo, like where that matters. Like the, the target part. So much stuff to do. Okay. I guess because of Yone, I shouldn't play um, the Benefactor first. I do like this Absorb Soul, how whenever they try targeting one of my things, I can Absorb Soul to not let them get the Ezreal trigger and also gain four life. Like, that's good in this matchup, too. So I like this Absorb Soul for this matchup. Discarded House Spider. And they have Mushroom Cloud in hand. Oh man, this is going to be way too many cards. about to get a lot of cards. Oh, that's a play trigger, not a summon. No. All right, well, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, first first class, you, yeah, you were telling me, weren't you? Four cards there. Well, three. I just want to play Rasa? Nah. Pretty good at grinding. Get a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to tell me. But I went too fast. So the bad news is they just drew six cards. The second bad news is we didn't get, give them the mushroom clouds first. So they didn't get to draw any of the Mushroom Clouds. The good news is they only have 18 cards left. And so the more Puff Caps we give them now, the more, the more likely it is they draw the Puff Caps. Um, 
So I could give them puff cap and then draw three. Or puff cap, puff, puff cap, double skitterer. I guess I like have like this rummage that I could have just rummaged away the puff caps, but I like puff caps in this matchup. Puff caps are good. I have to choose between drawing cards and curving out. I choose to draw cards. Okay, well that's what that's what we chose as well. It's draven down a little bit. I don't know if I should do that. I should maybe just play the chump womp. Let's see. Sure, just done any of these. Doesn't really matter. I said Yone earlier in this game. I can't play Yone. Or not Ionia. What are we doing over here? Are they discarding? Blades Edge. Blades Edge is is an Ezreal target. All right, gonna be doing some attacking. This is a close one. It's definitely a close game. All right, 
you gotta kill kill the first Ezreal. And I, you know, using the four damage thermogenic beam so that even if they have something target and they level up Ezreal, Ezreal will have four toughness. Um, because seven out of eight right now. So it's basically that Ezreal says one three, but really the the real stats are two four for that Ezreal. Those are the real stats, because they can absolutely level up Ezreal right now. Like, there's there's no way they have five cards in hand and they play Ezreal and they just can't level up the Ezreal. Like that, there's not there's not cards they could have that. So that's not really a thing. Like that's okay. Zero mana rummage. Get those puff caps. So they're at 14 cards and 24 puff caps. more puff caps just one so they're at 13 cards and 23 puff caps their last three draws oh man yes draw them let's go here we go one two three one two one oh that means they're at three So much stuff, they, they conceded right at a time when there was all this stuff. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so three and two. Our deck is good at grinding. Good at grinding against these control decks. This is new, the season road level. Alright, so there we go. So three and two, so pretty good. Pretty good show, and for Back Alley Barkeep, Chronicler of Ruin. Um, fun deck to play. Also, you know, like, you just get a bunch of random cards with Back Alley Barkeep. Um, the first game was rough, like, against, you know, we played against the Undying, and you just can't, you know, you can't really play the control deck in that in that matchup. But, um, you know, get to get some wins against Ezreal. That's, that's nice. Um, yeah, so the fun deck to play. Um, I... I wish we were playing like one of these champions for Thresh, but as you saw there, like we never never leveled up Thresh, and the game's not really about leveling up Thresh, to be honest. A lot of it is like just outgrind them and then eventually give them a whole bunch of puff caps and then just burn them to death with like puff caps and then like get excited at Mystic Shot and stuff like that. And you know, just get attacks in with like a whole bunch of three power creatures that we have. Um, you know, Ledros finish some games. Uh, we didn't get to do any cool Rasa stuff, but there's other matchups where we do some cool Rasa stuff. For sure. Yeah. Pretty fun deck. Um, I don't think that's a card. Oh, Heimerdinger. Um, yeah, I mean, you could have Heimerdinger in this this kind of deck. Heimerdinger is just another slow card. You, we'd, you'd, I think you'd have to change stuff up for Heimerdinger. Like, then you'd have to put in Flash of Brilliance. Like, if you play Heimerdinger, you play Flash of Brilliance. And I just don't really want to make the deck building concessions to have Heimerdinger in here. Basically. Our deck's already, like, like our deck's really slow. And so that's the thing about Heimerdinger and Hecarim. Like, they're, I mean, they're both slow. I think where, where our deck's going to struggle the most is against aggro, and I don't know, none of these really do. Um, Callis you know, I definitely thought about playing Callista, but I think Skitter is probably just better. Um, but, you know, could play Callista instead of Skitter. And uh, thought about Ezreal also. You know, we don't have, like, the most 
target stuff for them, but there's some target stuff for them, and, and Barkeep can get you some others, and, you know, Ezreal can just hit him and get you some Mystic Shots. So I'll just have him play in some Ezreals, but... <clears throat> Maybe play, like, a team over two. Um, give him some Puff Caps. Nah. All right, but there we go. So that's Chronicler Barkeep. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave a comment. I always like seeing those comments over there. Um, and uh, if you want to see your deck played on stream, remember, it's just a $10 donation. The donation link for those of y'all on Twitch is down below. And for everybody on, on YouTube, it's just in the video description. And you just uh, donate $10. And then your in your donation description, just put your code that you want me to play or deck idea if you want me to build a deck like how i built this chronicler barkeep deck today if you want me to build a deck um i can do that so just let me know what you want me to play and what day you want me to play it and that's it all right but that's it here for for Chron chronicler barkeep so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video